crafty way to cross the lake. to my wishes. You lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? Tell me. Everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar. Like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri, beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... he always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes, yes, I've seen him do it many times in the workshop. Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. But then... One of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lopped his chisel and struck the coward dead right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. I'll cut down that oak tree now Sindri's gone. Can't stand the sight of it without him here. How can I talk with you when my heart has torn asunder? Last time I saw the master, he was sitting under his oak tree, roasting his acorns, oiling his favorite hammer. Put down that oak tree, now Cinder is gone. I can't stand the sight of it without him here. Where could they be? There's something wrong, Basil. Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Ailthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri? To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Brooker. Except now we can't find them. You have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I wouldn't be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground right where they should be. I am very fond of the dwarves, yet their constant needs is exhausting. Oh, Loki. Friend. Betrayer. What I'd give for a moment of your gilded conversation, even the lies. Show me. tools. Somewhere high up, perhaps. Sunin, guide me.
majestic oak. Surely this is Sindri's beloved acorn tree. That nest looks like a promising hidey hole. If I had wings, I could reach it easily enough. Disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God. You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage, that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. Evil day has come. Perhaps he can be of use. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you, Sindri's greatest rival, would surely... Ah, fuck off. We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering, brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still, we can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Who knows how long it will take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It will be faster if I do it. Though. 
My brother. A true master. He was, uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the saw. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. <laughs> Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. <sighs> it's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come. Let's take a stroll. Mm. Now, tell me. Are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine suitor was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that mead. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you and all of Svatalfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So, don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son? And strive only for your salvation? Okay. When you say it like that... I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know. Let me think on it, all right? A little old think. The finest? I forged better in my sleep. Yeah? Is that why you were snooping about in the ruins of the old workshop? 
only because the Muspel stole everything I had, Dimwit. Good to see you're getting along. So, Broker, do you accept your duty? Don't have much choice, do I? Last thing I need is a godly smiting up me ass. <laughs> Let this be the start of a beautiful new friendship. <sighs> to study the Salakar, I'll need the very best of tools. Too bad this workshop is lacking. Bugger off! I got more stuff here than you can wag a finger at. Doubt it. <gasps> <gasps> if you find something you don't know how to use, just ask. <laughs> I'll be giving you lessons on how to use your Bickering own... Bickering dwarves. How unusual. Asa, you return. What? You deal with a fire nymph? Not this again. What news do you bring? My stepmother is stubborn. I cannot push too hard, or she will grow suspicious. She has no interest in a trade. Interest, yes. But not yet the will. I don't understand. The Salakar is all but indestructible. You, on the other hand, are not. She assumes she'll catch me, kill me, and retrieve the Salakar. Time is on her side. Then I must strip her of this illusion. If I were to make a nuisance of myself... One that cannot be ignored. Sinmara prepares to lead my father's next major invasion. But if I were to disrupt her plans, it may force her to the bargaining table. Sounds risky to me. I once plotted and carried out the murder of Emir himself. What do I care of risk? Well, since you put it like that... Where must I strike? At Af Alvat Milna. My stepmother develops a strange army. At Jofursmida, she breeds beasts of war. And finally, there's Drekathorp, her supplies hub. I'll deal with all three. In the meantime, I shall return to Etri. I will send word once my stepmother has become more... amenable. I'll return when I'm done. And I will expect answers regarding the Salakar. Her precious supplies. What do you see, Sunan? Kya! is heavily guarded.
warriors will have grumbling bellies and only sticks with which to fight. Have to repair that.
Ugh. <sighs>